We just finished a brake job on this 2010 Toyota Prius. We put on new rotors and new brake pads. This car has e-brakes or electronic brakes. Before you start doing any brake work on cars with e-brakes, you want to make sure that the e-brake is off and the ignition is off. Because if any of those two things are on or you put them on, while you're in the process of working on the brakes, especially removing the caliper away from the brake pads, this piston is going to come shooting out. The way e-brakes work with some manufacturers is after a certain amount of time has transpired, the car's computer will cycle the brakes to make sure that there's continuous pressure going through the brake line. So you may start your brake job, compressor caliper piston in, and then all of a sudden, Maybe 15 minutes, half an hour later, this piston's gonna come shooting out because the car's computer will check to make sure that there's continued pressure inside your brake lines. And that actually happened to a friend of mine on his uh, Lexus ES460. He was doing a brake job and all of a sudden the pistons just shot out. So I'm just gonna give you an, uh, an idea of what to expect. I'm gonna put this block of wood in here to stop the piston from completely shooting out. So if I were to engage the e-brake, this piston is going to start developing pressure from the brake line to a pump and this piston is going to come out. Okay, so I engaged the parking brake and then I disengaged it so that we wouldn't go completely out and touch the wood block, but I put the wood block here for safety. But as I said before, do not have the ignition on or the e-brake engaged when doing a brake job with cars with e-brakes.